Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist. This video is about how you can use the face project modifier for my geometry node assets. Face project is similar to Blender's shrink wrap modifier. To use face project we'll need two things, something to project and somewhere to project it. I most commonly use the face project modifier in combination with my instance on faces modifier to add details to walls and things like that. So as for the somewhere to project it, I will use the walls that I made for the build walls video. And for the something to project, I will add a plane. Face project can work in two ways. You can either add the modifier to the plane or you can add it to the wall. I will show both. Let's start by adding the modifier to the plane. To add the modifier, you can either use the modifier menu or drag and drop it from the asset browser. Once the modifier has been added, I will set the direction setting to snap this to object. Then we can select the object that we want to project this face onto. I could select the wall object, but since I've already put all of the building parts into a collection, let's instead select the building collection. Nothing has happened because the face isn't pointing at a wall. I will move the face so that it's over a wall. Once it's over the wall, it will snap to it and I can make duplicates and snap as many faces to the wall as I want. Ray length controls how far the face will look in a direction for something to snap to. If the distance to the wall is less than that amount, then the face won't move. The face will look for something to snap to in both the positive and negative normal directions. If both directions find something to snap to, it will default to the positive normal direction. And the offset setting lets you move the face in or out from where it was snapped to the surface. That about covers having the face snap itself to the wall. Now let's back up because sometimes it is more useful to have the wall snap the faces onto itself. I will remove the face project modifier and instead add one to the wall object. This time the default direction setting is correct, which is snap object to this. And I will edit the object property and select the face object as the faces that I want to project onto the wall. Again, I could use a collection if I wanted to. Selecting the faces object causes the building to disappear because it was replaced by these projected faces. Rather than replacing the wall mesh, I would like to add them into the object or the container, so I will check the append box. This is making use of the tag feature. Um, for a full explanation of how tags work, watch the build walls video. Finally, we can use the tag as property to select which tag will be assigned to the projected faces. By default, they are tagged as face project, but you can also select a custom tag if you're using more than one face project modifier. And that's about it for the face project modifier. By itself, it rarely produces a final result, but now that we have these faces attached to the wall, we can instance things on them or otherwise turn them into details. But I will get into that in the next video, which will be about the instance on faces modifier. In the description, there are a bunch of links. You can visit my website where there are more details about all of my modifiers. I have a Discord server that you're welcome to join, and there are links to where you can purchase my geometry node assets if you'd like to do that. And that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.